Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth. And today from Thomas Nelson, we have an exciting little volume of the Psalms that includes some thoughts from Charles Spurgeon. Charles Spurgeon was called the Prince of Preachers and he wrote several little commentaries, including the Treasury of David, which this has some excerpts from. So let's take a quick look at this. It comes in a little slipcase. This thing is inexpensive. You can really get a great deal on this. I highly recommend it. So anyhow, it has a nine and a half point font. It has a leather soft cover, and then it has the little symbol in there. I'm not sure the significance of the mountain there. Maybe somebody can fill me in on that. But anyhow, this, check out the end sheets here and the, the liner. Really nice. So then, of course, you have a presentation page. This is on Bible paper. Now, this paper, there have been people saying this paper is thin. This paper is not thin. Now, I don't know that it's coated, but this is 40 GSM paper. This paper is super duper thick. So once you get into the layout of it, you know, you have your table of contents, which is just basically the Psalms. And uh, this is in the New King James, by the way. So it's going to have kind of your preface to the New King James. But once you get into the Psalms itself, it kind of has an introduction from Charles Spurgeon. And then each psalm kind of has a lead-in from the Treasury of David. And this is from the McLaren series as well. So you're going to have your blue accents. This is a verse-by-verse -verse layout, as all poetry is. It does have some cross-references on the bottom. And I love that it doesn't use drop caps, but it does give you kind of a, a superscript there in blue for your first letter of the psalm. So each one is going to be introduced with a portion from the Treasury of David from Charles Spurgeon and a 9.5 font in verse-by-verse -verse layout with some limited notes and references. And again, each one is led in. And I think one of the reasons people are fussing about the ghosting in this is not because the paper is thin. The paper is very thick. It's because in your poetic settings, you're only gonna have it justified on the left. It's not going to be justified on the right. So you're seeing bare text. Unfortunately, you are gonna see some of the next page. Also, because of the way this is laid out, this is justified. It's gonna look a little strange behind some of Charles Spurgeon's notes from the treasury of David. So there's really not a whole lot to look at with this. You do have some blank space. And again, you're gonna see that ghosting from the other side of the page simply because there's nothing backing it. There's really not a whole lot you can do except put crazy thick paper. And you could increase the opacity, but you're talking about, you can get this for about $13. So it's really hard to complain about anything you can get for $13 that contains the full Psalms and some notes from Charles Spurgeon. So this thing is really beautifully laid out. And look, they give you one double-sided, 3 8 inch satin ribbon. Not bad at all. It would have been nice to have two, but when you're reading the Psalms, generally speaking, this thing is like super thin. Okay, you're talking probably a half inch thick, but uh, really beautiful perimeter stitching. It's got some nice gilding. I mean, check that out. That is not bad at all. And single column layout. I love the blue accents. I love that they are kind of really pulling this into the McLaren. I really look forward to seeing what they're going to do with the future of the McLaren series. So once you get to the end, once you're done with the Psalms and you get to Psalm 150, that is it. You get a few blank note pages, then you're back to your end sheet here. No maps, nothing like that. It does have a note regarding the typeface, which is put together by 2K Denmark and the NKJV comfort print. So this thing is really, really, really slick. So if you're someone who likes the Psalter and you want to kind of keep a Psalms on hand, it's not very bulky. This thing is fantastic. I really hope they come out with a more premium version, at least a genuine leather with maybe a more of a synthetic or vinyl liner. This thing is sharp. I actually dig it. So there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on this unit was worth.